Hi there, this is the Fisher Doing Fine Trap in the Evans Gambit Accepted and it's taken from Bobby Fisher's remarkable miniature demolition of fellow American Reuben Fine in New York in 1963. E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight C6, Bishop C4 and Bishop C5, White tries B4, the Evans Gambit. Black takes the gambited pawn, which allows White to play C3 hitting the bishop and supporting a d4 pawn push. Black moves the bishop back to a5 and we've looked at other variations where sometimes bishop c5 is played but that does allow d4 immediately gaining time hitting the bishop immediately. So after bishop a5 d4 is played anyway and black takes a second pawn. White castles and now black takes the third pawn with d takes on c3 but that allows queen b3 and there's a lot of stuff going along that diagonal at the moment the immediate threat is bishop takes on f7 and important to note that the bishop on a5 while having advantages of potentially hitting the e1 square it does take away a us useful option for the knight to jump to a5 in some variations which would be hitting the queen and the bishop so to defend f7, queen e7 is played, and now knight takes on c3. The knight comes into the game with, uh, with energy and zeal, and wants to jump into d5. Bishop takes c3 is an option for black, so is knight f6. But after knight f6, knight d5 anyway, and after knight takes, e takes, the e-file is looking a little bit dangerous, albeit not immediately. The main concern for black is the knight now on c6. So it jumps to e5 and after knight takes on e5 and queen takes on e5, the bishop comes into the game with tempo. That bishop on c1 to b2 hitting the queen. Now the queen slides over to g5 and Fischer plays a great move now, h4. This is a fine move because it's dislodging the queen. If the queen were to move to g6, then white is going to get a huge advantage with queen to e3, because there's no queen to interpose on e7. The black queen has been moved to g6. So after that move h4, the queen took on h4, but that allows now bishop takes on g7, hitting the rook. When the rook moves over, now Fisher brings his rooks into the game. Rook f e1. It really makes no difference whatsoever at this stage, this exchange sacrifice, because we're going to have the same position after bishop takes e1 and then rook recaptures on e1. So rook e1, we have king to d8. And now how about this move by Fisher? Queen to g3. And the queen is overworked. That black queen is overworked. Because if we're going to have queen exchanging on g3, we have an immediate mate by white, bishop, f6, and that's checkmate. So that's great stuff. This has been the Fisher doing fine trap in the Evans Gambit accepted. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.